Now, what's interesting here is I was one of the first high-endy guys in my family, meaning back in 2011, I bought the first, like, year Tucson when they redesigned it. Like, it was pretty small back in that day. It is. It's a lot bigger and, now. And actually, I drove it down here from, I live up in the Virginia, D.C. area, and I drove that down with my wife and kid. And, and now, you fast forward, my sister and her brother, or I should say my brother-in-law, he, they just picked up the new uh, Palisades. Oh, they're gorgeous. Uh, which that's what my mom really would like us to get, but I think that's too much vehicle and too much money. But we could be wrong in that, but we can explore the, options. The entry-level Palisade, that'll be the uh, Palisade SC, which yeah. is around the 35 mark. Right, so okay. So it really just depends on, I don't, a lot of times I don't even like to ask where your budget's at, what features are you looking for? Yeah, yeah. Kind of go from there. Right. But that's just me, I don't want to assume. Yeah, you gotcha. Money. Right, right. So, and you see, yeah, plenty of seeing a page. Out back here. Now, what's dangerous is that's a really cool looking black and silver. What is that? That's the Santa Fe XRT. That's one of the new, with the redesign, they added kind of a new rugged model. It's more of, that's 40 grand. This is 31 or 32 for my 31 or 32? Sorry, 34 three. Really? Yes. Now, that's kind of fancy. What do you, I mean, I, I don't think that's you, Dad, but that's pretty neat. Yeah, I like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now this is pretty classic because see this guy right here this is you right here kind of <laughs> see that gray elantra right out yeah 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 That's yeah mine. okay <laughs> so this is 31 34 34 really yes, sir. wow this is nice is this available yes sir because a lot of cars as you know are in today's market it's a different ball game yeah. so is this unlocked Wow. All right. Okay. So cloth interior, which that's not a downside. So is this have like the same motor as that other vehicle did? The Tucson and this will have the same motor. This gets, um, when you get to the uh, limited and calligraphy trim, which are the two highest trims, right. you get a turbo engine. Now this is the trunk spacing here, a lot bigger than the, the Tucson we were just looking at, but you also get some storage underneath here. Okay. It's for some extra tools and your full jack, which the spare is. Oh, there is a spare. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I don't like the, you'll see like a sort of like uh, fix a flat or like an air. Right. It's like, well, what if you get a, a nail yeah. in your sidewall? Right, uh, right, right. Yeah. But then you also have some extra cargo storage underneath here. Nice. That's so very nice. a lot nice. of times that no one really shows anybody so so phil so what's interesting is you know since i'm not really the height i'm a ford guy i'm a mopar guy you know i'm the muscle car guy so so what's interesting is this looks really good but we're, i'm thinking we're going to our tucson but this is santa fe now is it is this kind of i know the products but to kind of explain it to my youtube channel so the santa fe is a little bigger right or wrong or does that change with the tucson no, this is definitely a lot bigger. I mean, the, as far as sizing goes, we have two crossovers, then it goes to Tucson, then the Santa Fe. Okay. Palisade's even bigger. Okay, so it's nice is this is a pretty good size SUV. Is this bigger than the Escape by a little bit, you think? What would be your guess? RAV4, Escape, comparison, or Tucson? That, it's more comparable to the Tucson. Right, right. This, that's a very good question. This is... That's a good looking car, Dad. This thing, this thing felt better, you know, bigger. Oh, yeah. Than the it, it, it is. I would say this is like the, I would say closer to like the Equinox. I probably just, it's a little bit longer. Right, longer, right. But not, we're not adding a third row to it. Um, mm. you know, this, I wow. Wow. That is, that's great. 34. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Your mother really likes the I am the Leo guy. Yeah, right. So let's. But that's too big. That's too yeah, big. we don't. That's too big. Yeah. I think this has really great potential right here. Yeah. But let's get on Phil's mission of going to the Tucson that was in his head. <laughs> so let's go there, yeah. and let's see where he was taking us. Because if this hadn't been sitting here, we wouldn't have stopped. No, fair and that's enough. a good-looking vehicle. We're just right on the other side, actually. You know, we have a so. Tucson squeezed in here. Yeah, we'll see. We uh, the car sits outside a lot, so it's more about not spending you know an extra ten minutes to cool it down. 
and show all the bird and all the other stuff, you know, so it doesn't show the... I was say, as you can tell, I like the grays and silver. Right, they, they right. They have a lot of the dirt. Right, you guys had a great... You know, in today's car market, anybody watch my YouTube videos, this is pretty phenomenal because I go to all the different car dealerships and video things, so, and this is pretty impressive for average, inventory. Oh, yeah. On average, we have... We used to have around 1,200 cars. Wow. I mean, we have two overflow lots. Right. Well, what's the one up the street, the used car side? That's ours, too. Because we... Is that the new or used? That's used. This is all new. Because we drove up there first, because mm -hmm. we were coming back from the uh, Port Richie Ford, and I'm like, these guys have like no inventory. But I saw a Heine dealer if when you I go was in the back. Yeah, there's like 800 cars, 800 used cars in the back. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Oh my so gosh. We, we do, like I said, with all the, the high traffic, we put all the used cars there. Right. So we can fit more new here. So are you, is this what you're thinking right here? This, this is. But this that's interesting. This is more money than that other. So let's move on. This is too much. What was this? Thirty six eight forty. This is thirty six eight forty. This was the same as the one on the pet. So right. This right. Is a limited trim. This is the high right. trim for the two cars. Right. Limited. Yeah, so what I'm I, saying is, we have limiteds right now that I can see. Even over there too. All right, so here's a question: which which is more fun to drive, the Tucson or the Santa Fe? Do you know that actually answer honestly? If you don't, it's okay. When you go into the Santa Fe's with the turbos, I think they're a lot more fun. Is yeah. that the turbo we're looking at? The one we're looking at, the gray one. No, the gray one doesn't come with the turbo, but they're both going to have the same size engines. Right. I prefer the Santa Fe over the Tucson just because I have three kids at home. That would fit me a lot better. Right, right, right. But ultimately, I, I like the Santa Fe more just to be completely honest than the Tucson. Okay, all right. My dad, Like I said, my dad has a Tucson. He loves it, but it's right. just him. He's not bringing people in and out and... The, the Santa Fe is a lot more practical in my opinion. Let's get a key for that vehicle yeah. so it doesn't get out of our sight. Do you like that, Dad? Which one? The one we just looked at that you sat in. Yeah. I mean, do you like that look? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's in today's car market, that's, that's you could literally have a guy walk up and say, I saw it on the internet, I want it, and it's gone. That's, that's where it is. I right? literally had a customer this morning. He was talking with my internet group. Right. And uh, he... They were speaking with him yesterday. He came in today. Right. The car had just been sold. Literally saw it pulling off the pad. Someone yep. was selling it. Right. And I told him, and he already, he understands what's going on. So it makes it easier for us too. Right. So it, you, you, right. Know, you probably know more than I do in this point, but it, right. it, it makes it a lot easier for me when you guys are patient. So yeah. I if, say this may not be the vehicle. We can at least test drive it, feel right. it see how you guys like it. And then right. like I said, get you the exact color. You're looking for. Yeah. Well, we like this car. I mean, I think that if the numbers make sense, you're going to get a sale. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I really, I mean, that's why I want to drive it right now so that we can get it. We, we're not out screwing around. And like, I, I've, done, I've done this. I've been here. A guy walks up and you're like, well, there you go. I just took it. What is your channel? So Phil here is telling me you got a 16-year-old? This guy looks like a high school kid. Get out of here. Well, it's my, my girlfriend. Oh, okay. I get it. But your biological kids are 7 and 13. Well, my, my the second old mine. The two older ones are hers. Okay. I was going to say, this guy here, man, he's sporting youth. How do we get that pill? Huh? Right? Yeah. I want that it, pill. It's eating good and staying out of here. <laughs> there you go. We like it. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go inside, get freshened up, and Phil's going to get the car for us, and we'll see if you have the wow factor. All right? That's what it's here. It just happened. I mean, it's just a happen in place. Let's go up here. I know that. It's a happen in place. Now, all right, so here we go. Here she is. I tell you, I really think this is a pretty sharp vehicle. And uh, I'm going to drive it first. So I'm going to, hey, Dad, I'm going to drive this first. Okay. Because I'm a car fanatic, and I'm going to know what this thing is if I drive it. So let me drive this and uh, and see what we think of this Hyundai. Even though my last one I owned was like a 2011 Hyundai Tucson. So getting in, not that, not bad. So getting in. This is the Santa Fe. Right. Yeah, so I was just saying how my last Santa uh, my last purchase of a Hyundai was 2011, a uh, Tucson. Then my I bought my wife a uh, a Santa Fe. 
okay. which is radically different from 2011 to now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, well, that was the very early beginnings of Hyundai's yeah, so progression. You can see there's a lot more technology in the vehicle, full digital display. Um, all the vehicles now from standard. Which, you know. Now, what Phil doesn't know is my father has, you know, hearing aids, severe hearing loss. So, so uh, just so you know, you'll be talking about stuff in Hilla. Uh, no, it's on the fan speed. You'll see the in yep. The center there. Yep. Yep. So auto. So what I talk about all the time is nobody understands. So let me ask you a question, Phil. I think this is pretty good stuff because most people have no clue that pay the extra for AutoZone. Do you actually know how to run AutoZone? And I'm not going to put you on the on the spot. So auto is you set the temperature and the vehicle automatically. So if you hear that fan, the fan, you know, it didn't go as high because. The car right now is being told 76 degrees. So what people do is they get aggravated and they're like, hey, you know, I, 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 they don't understand auto. So once you hit this little fan control, it turns off the auto, the auto. So now you're trying to manually control the temperature of the car. And so what everybody does, and a huge mistake, and if you don't have auto, zone, heat, and air conditioning in your car, you're right, you have to use a little fan switch and go up and down for your temperature. If you understand how to run your auto, you turn on the auto button and you use your temperature to adjust your comfort and then the car automatically, like your house, just keeps it a constant temperature. If you hit the little button, it turns off the auto, so now, you're not managing the temperature correctly. But you'd be amazed at how many people do not know yeah. that conversation. Oh yeah, it's, I, I was just gonna say, you said it for me, but it's just like the uh, thermostat in your house. So this is pretty cool. I've never driven the Hyundai's in quite a few years. So let's see how smart I am. I see the parking brake. So I'm gonna assume I push that down. It's, oh, it's there, it's on when you push in. You have to put your foot on the brake in while pushing it in. Okay, so then push it in. So it's off. But what's interesting is you push to turn it on or you pull to turn. So pull to, it's just like, so you pull it to uh, set it, you push it to turn it off. Now it's pretty neat here. This is definitely different. Here's your drive mode. And then it has drive modes. That's pretty cool. So first of all, it's telling us that our tire pressures aren't uh, correct. So that's mode so let's see if i can figure this out in my own display go to display right here and then we move that up and down there you go okay i've never driven this car before i'm just playing phil's phil's being really cool he's just being quiet <laughs> he's like i know all this stuff but you just figure it out in your own all right so so uh okay so now i do want to say do you know who started the push button shifting i like to know that from my understanding, it was back in the 70s where Chevy okay. actually brought that into play. And then right, they right. They kind of phased out over the years, but then Dodge brought it back with the electric shifter knob, and then now Hyundai's incorporating it with the push button shifter. Okay. So it's just, it's a little different. Even the Sonata has something similar, and the higher trim Tucson will come with a push button shifter. Um, and even still, when I get in them, I'm grabbing for the shifter. I mean, I, I grew up driving sticks, so it's. Right. A You're a rarity. Yeah. My daughter, my daughter is how to drive sticks. If you watch my YouTube videos, you'll see her driving my Mustangs and her oh, yeah. Honda Type Civic R and all that stuff in, in stick shift. We actually, we, I should have some time later, we actually just got the brand new Elantra in. So it's the brand new Sport Model 2 uh, 2.0 turbo. It's pushing 275 horsepower. Now it's not only just the engine suspension right. uh, from Formula One racing, it has a bunch of different uh, is this a four door or two door? It's a four door. Wow, it's like yeah. a sedan, like SRT Hellcat Charger. Yeah, so it's <laughs> on a smaller scale. Yeah, but it's it's pretty powerful. So it's it's uh, well, we can take a look at that later. Okay, so I think I know what I'm doing. Okay, so I we're really in drive, just, so we're good now. We're the uh, got to, well, we're gonna get that mirror. So that mirror out there, it's not like. Does that automatically go ahead self or push no, it? Yeah. Take your right hand without spilling your coffee. Give me your coffee. You're gonna he's notorious for getting coffee yeah, everywhere. To do. Just push. Push it. There you go. Good job. Alright, so now the steering wheel is kind of it's a manual steering wheel. So we'll get that right there like that. And Phil's probably like, this guy's holding his phone and talking and driving. 
will light. Casey Glenn, every light will take a right. Hey, there's my Ford. There's Julia. She drove my, my black truck. Oh, is she down there? Is that, that's what she wants to do to my freaking F-350 truck. I begging me to lift my F-350 Tremor truck and make it look like that over there. And then I won't be able to get in anymore. That's the reality. What's that all about? Yeah, like the air, air run. Yeah. All right, so let's see how the fun factor is. So power, respectable. I don't think I'm in the highest mode. Does it change? Ford, you know, Ford has this mode where if you, uh, has a mode where if you go to sports setting, it opens up the engine board. Does this car yes, have so, that right there? Yes, so, so if you turn you can do it. Yep. Oh, there it is. Sport mode. So it's oh, really yeah. Steering just a little bit. Well, I can feel the motor though. See what people don't know in the Ford exactly. product? That it actually opens up more power in the motor. I would think high-end it does the same thing, but very, I don't know. Very similar. It, 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 Technical terminal rev to a higher RPM, yes, giving you more power. Um, so it, you can definitely, when we turned it, you can feel it kind of shifting into that mode. Right, right. All right, so the brakes, brakes feel good. Does this have a little bit more of a performance brake package on it, or it just looks fancy and does not? Uh, it's more of the cosmetic looks. This is okay. just going to have the standard brakes on it. Okay. And we'll take it right up this way here. Okay. We're going to do a circle, do a circle track. Here are we. So uh, I like the blinker sound. We think of that dead. You might not be able to hear that. I've actually had a lot of people complain about it. <laughs> well, if you ride around the Fords and the GMs and Chevys, it's a different noise. Yeah. And that's a little bit more of a tamer mm -hmm. versus typically you feel like you're in the 1970s, which is kind of neat for me. Yeah. It reminds me of growing up as a kid when I listened to my Ford Mustang blinker. Yeah. Because it sounds like you're in a 1970 Ford vehicle or Dodge or whatever it may be. So, uh, so front wheel drive, or is this, uh, this is front wheel drive. but is it an all wheel drive? Not in this trim model. Okay. Um, actually all the hybrids come all wheel drive, but you can get this specific Santa Fe or the standard Santa Fe like this as a hybrid model or, uh, uh, excuse me, all wheel drive model. Right. Which we don't, this is going to be a, a Florida based vehicle. Yeah. We won't need that if, versus being up North. I kind of get all that. So, so far, you know, to me, this is your typical, you know, kind of $30,000 SUV feel. You're talking to a guy who rides around a very expensive. And, you know, it's very similar to the Escape. It's similar to the RAV4. You know, what I mean by that, it's just, a, you know, what you're feeling out of the SUV vehicle. Yeah. You're not going to get that. Range Rover Sport or the my Ford ST Explorer, you know. Yeah. So, uh, and then the quality, you know, so far quality seems to uh, flow with the looks of the vehicle. On that, what's the uh, warranty on this vehicle factory? So it is five years, sixty thousand bumper to bumper, ten year, hundred thousand powertrain warranty, which includes your engine and transmission. So did you just hear that, Dad? Five years, yeah, sixty thousand. So even though they're going to want to sell us upscale and extended warranty, my dad drives five thousand miles a year. Yeah, we don't need it. No. Yeah, so that's yeah. a huge savings right there. Oh yeah. The and then. Has warranty from my understanding. Well, that's a busy. Take that's a right a, here or keep on going straight. No, take a, a lot of stuff on. Take a left. No, take a right. Okay, you're right. Uh, Dad, I'm sorry. A pretty good sized display with yeah. a lot of information. <laughs> right. Now, as a salesman, you know, every vehicle has its faults. As individuals, that, you know, I've owned and people I've known, everything has faults. So what would be something you just kind of like, yeah, you know, I kind of know about that. It isn't really the difference of the vehicle being a great vehicle, but is there something we should know? Am I putting you on the spot? No, that's a good question because the twenty. This is a twenty-two model. Oh the wow! The twenty-one. Really? Yes, sir. The twenty-ones um, had an issue with the hitches and the spare tire in the back. Okay. But for the twenty-twos, they have now fixed it. I put multiple hitches on these models. This has a hitch. This. I don't believe this has a hitch. Okay, we don't need that. No, it, it, it can be um, factory installed. Okay. So nice. it's. Uh, it, good to know that they fixed that issue with it i honestly don't really have any complaints with this vehicle okay. I, I was actually torn between this the palisade and the sonata and we just got the sonata for what we thought was yeah, appropriate yeah. at the time right right sure um, yeah, yeah. but no this is actually one of my favorite vehicles in the Hyundai brand
Now, as far as the horsepower, did you say the horsepower is? I can't remember. No, this is a, a 2.5 um, engine. I want to say we're around 240, 230. I was going to say we're definitely over the 200 mark for this. Okay. Um, I want to say 200 to 240 would be the, the standard horsepower. What do you think the realistic fuel mileage bumping around town is? 20? They, they say an average of 26 between city and highway. You're wow. looking around 25 for the city, 20 um, in the highway. And that just really depends on how you drive. Like, 87 octane, 93, what do they recommend? Just regular gas, yeah. Okay, it's good. Nothing, nothing fancy. I mean, for example, my Elantra, I, it says around 30, 35 between city and highway. I'm getting 40, 45. Okay. So, like I said, when I have the car drive more for me, that's where you see a lot of the... Uh, the benefits through the fuel economy and, and uh, just longevity. All right, right, so Dad's wanting to get wild and crazy. No, here. are you? Are you? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in front of this car and make Phil think. Oh no! Uh, this is I'm going to have Dad <laughs> drive this car now, as I've driven it, and I feel good about this car so far. But I'm thinking be advantageous at this time to let my father drive it. And Phil and I will get our crash helmets on <laughs> and uh, buckle up as uh, best <laughs> yeah. we can. And I'll be the, the co-pilot assistant here, even though he flew airplanes many years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil's saying we're we're okay, we're all right. He just hasn't ridden with my dad that much yet, but it'll be all right. I'm still alive, right? I've made it 58 years, right? <laughs> so now, Dad, let's get you. You know, make sure you're set up. There's no rush here. Yeah, get yourself so know, know what you're doing first, because you know for. Somebody like my father, there's so much new technology in these cars these days, I think it's kind of to a disadvantage because it's just overkill. You know, it's overkill for the average person. It's just they're not going to use so much stuff. No, it's too I, much. I kind of agree with you there. <laughs> and if you don't know what you're doing and how these, some of the, the science behind the technology works, right. then it's kind of, it just defeats the purpose. All right, so, Dad, are you cold, yeah. hot? What's going on here? No, I, I was trying to slow it down. Slow it down. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here. You can use this button. The good news is you can use the auto to change the fan speed. They did update that in a lot of cars. So, and I can raise the temperature a little bit to slow it down too. Is that a little better? Is that yeah, better for yeah. you? Okay, yeah. now, get the steering wheel and your seat in the right position. Because you're kind of a little far back. I just well, think you should bring that seat up a little bit. Was, you could bring it up in the air too, Dad. So you can yeah, kind of get. I, I know. There you go. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then you want to be okay. a little closer. Do you feel good no, about I'm this fine. right here? Yeah. I'm okay All right. With so it. now, you got your uh, drive mode here. Right. We're gonna take you out of the sport mode. Okay. So we'll go to comfort mode, and you got to put your foot in the brake. Okay. Now over to the left. Brake, over to the left. There's a little parking brake thing. It's a push button. Just push it in, Dad. There you go. You got it. All right. So now we're going to go out and take a left here. Is that correct, uh, yes. Phil? Okay. So you're on your own here as I get my seatbelt for myself. Actually, it's gonna, the, the dash in front of you is going to show you all the fuel and temperature of the vehicle as well as the RPMs and miles, the miles per hour. Watch out, man. And then everything on the infotainment center through the screen in the center yep. is going to show you everything pertaining to your backup camera, uh, different media sources, AM, FM series, and then your Android Auto will have a So this is a wireless feature as well. And okay. The newer models, most new phones are compatible. Uh, but if not, you can just plug your phone in right to that USB in the dash, and then uh, the navigation comes onto the screen. It does Waze. Yes. yes. Apple Play, Droid Play. Correct? Yes. Okay. But here's the kicker. Remember we were talking about my Toyota Supra, which I'm well in depth in all the disappointment of what Toyota created there by just, you know, piggybacking off a of BMW, which is a huge mistake because they people would have paid 80 grand for a real Toyota Supra, but oh, yeah. Toyota didn't. Uh, but anyways, Tracy, the, take a right this right here. you're going to take a right, Dad. So, uh, okay. yeah, take a right. One more lane over. And uh, the... Toyota was the first to join BMW who has a wireless uh, phone station, but they also were the first for the Waze being wireless. Yes. So, so the, this probably does not have that, or does it? No, this has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. But it's a wireless Waze, where yes. you can do Waze yes. on the screen yes, wireless. Yes, sir. 
Really? Most new phones are compatible wirelessly. Through the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, you can access more than just the Waze app. So you don't have to plug into the cable to get the Waze to work? No, sir. Really? That's yes. new now. That's brand new. Yeah, the, the wireless okay. CarPlay is, is new for, and then if you take okay. a right, right behind the Hyundai sign here, to our right. Dad, right, 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 okay. take a right. Okay. We, we can actually swing it around and turn sure, it on. It's all right. You're yeah. good. But is that enough driving time for you? You want more driving time? Do you want to drive all the way down, Dad? Remember, I drove Liam's Dad, car. Well, don't, why don't you drive down the street? So yeah, just go do down. It. Do a circle all the way around. Just do the whole circle. So you know, you really just stay in the right-hand lane, Dad, because you're going to be taking a right up here at the light. Up the light. Yeah, yeah up at the light. We're going to do a right. But what I want you to do is I want you to drive this car. Make sure you think this is something you like. The car looks good. But does the car drive good? Yeah, I feel good about it. It's got a nice feel. The steering responsive, but not, you know, you're not. Right. Do you want the sport jumping. mode? Well, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you feel that? Got a little bit of. Yeah, I sure. Yeah. You feel it? Oh, yeah, he's a cop sitting up here and runs your radar and pulls you over. He knows who we are. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my son did it. It was my son's fault. He's the one that told me to do that. Okay, well, well, go take a right where that car is. Just follow that car. Can you believe that freaking blinker? Jesus Christ. What about it? The noise. Phil well, in the I back said that people think the blinker makes a funny noise. Yeah, but see, I need it because uh, your mother's always complaining because I'm driving around with the blinker going. Well, it probably know. has cancellation blinker, maybe, or does it, Phil? Uh, so if you, you can set it to three, five, or seven flashes, but if you just tap it, it'll do that. So then it'll only stay on for that designated amount of time. So I can think it is. Okay. Now, this is, uh, this is agile. Very agile car. Does it feel big though? Do you kind of have a big well, feel or it feels, feels like. It feels solid. But I mean, does it feel like it's kind of like a lot of vehicle? Or this is, still feels like a pretty sporty, you know, it doesn't feel overwhelming like you're driving a Ford Expedition. No, I, I think it's pretty, uh, you know, like I'll say it's agile. It's, it's, well, compared to the Palisades that Leah has, does this feel for more. Compact, a lot, or just a little different, or what would you say to that? Well, it, that's what impressed me at first. This, I have a better fe a feel, bigger to me. This this uh, cabin, yeah, feel bigger. Yeah, how about compared to like the Escape, what? the Ford well, Escape? It, it feels bigger than that to me. Yeah, he says it is bigger. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah, but as far as your seating posture with the seats or cloth. Oh, yeah. We've been riding around in leather seats. In fact, does this have heated seats? Does it have cooled seats? No cooled seats, but the heated seats are right there. Okay. You get uh, cooled seats on the um, limited trim now. Okay. Uh, so, on, right? yes. yes. You're just going to do a circle around, Dad. Yeah, uh, no rush. I want you guys comfortable. Yeah, so now, as far as this, this is the Hyundai Santa Fe 2020. And what edition model is this again? The XRT. XRT? Yes, sir. Okay. So, and uh, this is like a blacked out package or? It's more of the adventure pack. So they, they brought out the Santa Cruz, which is the pickup truck. So they're getting, right. they're trying to reach multiple. Uh, Demographics. Demographics. Yeah. Right. So they're, they're getting the people who like to explore doing outside activities, things like that. So this gives you the running rails, the blacked out rims kind of gives you that rugged look to it right um, in kind of comparison to the pickup truck right so all your things like uh, oil pressure and fuel that's up there dad that. it's up there it's up there yeah it's, it's, it's in front of you you can look at it through here but for the main part it's up there, but am I right about that? You can probably see that diagnostics through here. For no, that's not it's correct. Only on the center display. It's only on the center display. This is more about the infotainment center. Yeah, that's more for media. So I can show yeah. you all the different. Um, you have your trip, your two different trips, your uh, 
the mileage, just your, your fuel economy, it shows you all of the information. You can actually see the temperature at the bottom underneath the RPMs on the right, right and right. gas fuel on the left. Do you have rear vents back here for yes, air? Yep, and, is two, it, and two charging ports as well, USB ports. Is it, your, is it a dual, yeah, or is this? No, yeah, it's a dual. Uh, you can control okay. your own, Are we your own, right here? yeah, yes, yes, Dad. Uh, you can control your own settings back there? Not as far as the temperature, just, okay. the, just the direction. Of the, the, okay. The, the, the. Now, it has adaptive cruise control, right or wrong? Uh, this does, yes. Yeah, that's impressive. Lane assist. Yep, lane keep assist with right. lane following assist as well. The adaptive cruise control, uh, forward safety, blind spot detection, um, rear cross traffic avoidance. Okay. I think I believe that basically wraps it up. I mean, safe exit assist through parallel parking. I mean, this comes with basically all the safety features through the view. Well, that's neat. You can turn that off and on. That's pretty neat. So you have that option. This okay. also comes with uh, three years of complimentary Google service, which is kind of like the OnStar. Um, but you can have an app where you can track your vehicle, start and stop the vehicle. It's a quiet car. Very quiet. Uh, they actually makes a lot of their own steel on each year that they have uh, the uh, more strengthening into the actual frame, but not only that, a lot more product into the sound of the mm, Nice size. Nice. Now, this doesn't, like my Ford has blue cruise. Do you know what that word means? It's mm. the drive. I can drive my vehicles down the road where the steering wheel drives itself on open highways. It's like General Motors has that new, you know. Uh, That's your lane following assist. I call that more adaptive steering. Yeah, exactly. So um, he doesn't need that, but does it have that? It Just does, curious. Yes. So it does. The, yes, that's what that steering wheel icon on the steering. So wheel. you're seeing you around the road, let your hands off the steering yes. wheel, and the car will follow the lines of the road, and you don't have to hold the steering wheel. Yeah. You do not have to hold the steering wheel. I mean, you, it recommends you to hold the steering wheel, but yes, I I use it. It's like the Tesla technology to a degree, but not as much. It, it's comparable to it, but not as advanced. They have a lot more cameras on their vehicles comparing to this. We just use sensors and the camera and the dash to pick up the lines on the road. So this, it gives it a very self-driving feel, but it's not as advanced as Tesla. Okay. Um, I mean, I use it daily. I literally use it 90% of the time. So you can day. drive the road with your hands off the steering wheel yeah. in your lap as the car goes through the corners, you're, and it's freaky. It kind of like, it's like gonna, yikes. Okay, now you got it, a, It's not gonna go. take a full right turn. Stay in the right hand. There you go. There you go. Ah, well, because she has green. There goes popcorn. Popcorn's all in tail. Look at him. So she stay in the right hand lane. Yeah, you can stay in the turn lane. Yeah. So just stay in this lane up here, Dad. You got a little ways up. I'll help you. Just stay there. You're good. And you can get in. Yeah. Well, that was a little, you know, a little get up the road gas there. wasn't bad for a. Considering what we're driving here, I'm used to driving on 800 horsepower cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a big difference, stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. Or not. Dad doesn't need that. So, Dad, make a right. You want me to go yeah. The area? There you go. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. If there's no open spot side for us. All right. So, so All you right, want him to go back to left here? Yeah. yeah go go to, left to left. And, Dad, just go back where the truck was. You know, you're kind of in front of the dealership near the flag. Go to yeah, the flag. Yeah. Just pull up near the flag. You're the right. Okay. All right. Just, just pull around to the right here. Right here. You're good. Yeah. No. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, that's good. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Good, good. Perfect. Now, is that Santa Cruz uh, for sale? I believe so. But it's like, that's like 40 grand. Okay, Dad. Mm -hmm. So here. Well, that well, that's, so park right here. Park. Then over here, put your pull back that little button. Okay, there you are. See your parking brake? Oh, yeah. Okay, then you're off and on. There you go. Now watch your head there, Dad. Yeah, I will. And so, uh, all right, so what's your feelings about this vehicle right now? Well, it's, it's, it drives very much like Leah's car does, but it's... Uh, you know, not as big, but it is. I mean, but do you nice like feel. the do it? Do you like the car? Though? Yeah, I mean, I like is it something it. that makes sense? Yeah, I've always liked it. I had a car. I've never had one, but remember, right. I was on a mission to get a Genesis. Right. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Well, so is this something that you think we should go in and I talk think this is talk numbers? Your mother would feel good about. It. Well, I think what we do is help yeah. uh, Phil's manage his day. 
Let's go crunch some numbers and see if we can make this deal work for you. Okay. You want to do that? Now, your side is not, uh, you don't have electric seats over there, right? I don't know. Good no, question. Sir. No. Yeah. It's right here. But mom That's sets her problem. seat. She doesn't adjust yeah. the seat once she's got in. Right. Right. Get some air in here. <laughs> burning up here in Florida, man. It's all about I'm mom. All right, so do you want to go in and talk numbers? You want to tell Phil it was great meeting him today and say see you later? Well, we might as well talk numbers. Okay, let's yeah. do it. 